Okay, uh, well, let me uh, share. I think it'll become uh, clearer if I share. Uh, we're going to skip 16.4 applications. Uh, the uh, electro electrostatic precipitator and xerography and the laser printer. You're welcome to study those if you feel that you need to. I'm not going to test you on it. I'm not going to go through it. I'm going to jump straight to capacitors. Um, and this is a typical arrangement for a parallel plate capacitor. Uh, the plates carry equal and opposite charges. I'm going to, once I get to the end of, of this section, I think I'll show a little, or I'll make a, available a little video to you. Uh, the, uh, so the, you, you have these two, two plates and they're connected to a battery. So, uh, the, the uh, charges, positive charge will build up on one side and positive, actually electrons will build up on one side and that depletes electrons on the other side. So you get a, a potential difference between the, the plates uh, and, and the, um, the capacitor value, which is measured in farads, is determined by the geometry of the uh, uh, the parallel plate capacitor. There's other kinds than just the parallel plate capacitor, but that's a basic, uh, a basic design. You can see that the the plates have area A, and they're separated by a distance D. These become very important when we start talking about capacitors in series, and then capacitors in in uh, uh, parallel. Uh, we'll understand what that means when we get to it. And the Q, the Q is the charge. On the plates, you can see one side has a plus Q where the positive is, and the other has a, a minus Q uh, where the negative is. Um, okay, so the capacitor is defined as uh, the charge divided by uh, delta V, the, uh, uh, the voltage. Um, and the units are coulombs per volt. Q is charge, uh, delta V is volts, so the, the SI unit is. Coulombs per, per volt, and um, it's in. Uh, we'll see that there's a, a value called farad. So Q is equal to to uh, ca the capacitance times the voltage, and you'll see the uh, where we have a uh, now a one farad capacitor is a large capacitor. And so we're gonna be working with microfarads, uh, nanofarads, and even picofarads, 10 to the minus 12. Right here, the, we have three times 10 to the minus six farads times 12 volts, and that's 36 times 10 to the minus six farads, that's 36 microcoulombs. So there's, uh, uh, Q is equal to the capacitance times the, the voltage. Um, let's see. Uh, no, he doesn't define farad yet. I'm, I'm surprised. Okay. Uh, the plates carry equal and opposite charges. E is equal to sigma over epsilon zero, where sigma is the charge density uh, per unit area. Uh, voltage is equal to uh, ED, the the uh, electric field times the distance. Uh, Q is equal to the uh, charge density times the area, the charge density per unit volume, I mean, per unit uh, area times the area. Um, so C equals Q over delta V. Well, if delta V is equal to ED and Q is equal to um, sigma A, and E is equal to sigma over the charge per unit area divided by epsilon zero times D, uh, we end the sigmas cancel, and you end up with C equals epsilon zero A over D. Now this is this is important. This is an important uh, equation to to remember. I'm going to refer back to it when, when I talk about capacitors in series and capacitors in uh, parallel. So remember this: epsilon uh, capacitance equals epsilon zero times A divided by D. So the capacitor is defined as epsilon zero, which is the uh, permittivity of free space 
times the area of the plates divided by their the distance that separates them. Uh, and here's here's a uh, image of what the the electric field between the plates. You can see that they're pretty parallel right at the center, but as they, you get to the edge, you get end, end effects, and it's not quite uh, parallel, and then you get these, these, uh, um, these end effects where these, the uh, field is, is uh, curved around the edges. Um, okay, uh, here's an application it is you, uh, this pa parallel plate capacitor is you press the key, it changes the capacitance and it, uh, uh, it, it senses that and it gives you the, the, um, it gives you the, uh, the key being pressed. Yeah, it says when the key of one type of keyboard is pressed, the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor increases as the plate spacing decreases. So you push the button, the D decreases, and the substance labeled the dielectric is, uh, is an insulated material as described and it, it changes the capacitance and you get a um, you get a signal from it. Now here are the symbols that that we use for a capacitor. A capacitor is just is a parallel plate capacitor so we use two little parallel uh, lines to represent the parallel plates of the capacitor. Now a battery is a little bit different in that you, you'll notice that it's two plates, but one of them I can't I can't really make it is really is shorter than the other one. That's a battery, and we're also going to have a resistor, which is this zigzag line. In fact, Monday I mean not Monday Tuesday we should be doing a experiment with a capacitor and a resistor. Kind of jumps the gun, but but uh, uh, we we have to do some lab. And then there's a little symbol for a light bulb, which a light bulb is basically a resistor. Um, okay, uh, so this would be a typical arrangement um, of uh, a, um, you come out of the positive, you go to a light bulb, then you, the, the, the branch with the other light bulb and the resistor, that's a parallel branch, comes back to the resistor, and goes to the negative terminal of the battery, and this is the way it's represented schematically. Um, you can see that the uh, the light bulb in, in the middle branch, the light bulb and the resistor are in series, and the single light bulb beside it is in parallel with that, and they're all in parallel with the battery. Um, okay, now we're gonna talk about combinations of capacitors uh, in the next section.